I'm Aaron Goldstein. I'm here with Mark Hemstreet and our third guest for the show, Chris Jones from Jonesy Travel. Hey, thanks, Aaron, and welcome back to uh, Minding Your Business, the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce hosted radio show. And uh, we're here with Chris Jones with Jonesy Travel. It's a catchy name, Jonesy Travel. Where did that name come from? Uh, it came from actually high school. My teacher, uh, English teacher, uh, Called it, called me, and it stuck. It took, and just I ran with it from one business to another, and now we're finally found our niche cool. doing travel. So I, I I got your business card in front of me. It's kind of a unique looking card. Um, has your name, and it says you know Chris Jones Travel Agent with Jonesy Travel, um, and it has a big looks like a globe on there with. A lot of different uh, little icons. I mean, there's an airplane, there's the Eiffel Tower, uh, there's some New York skylines, there's, a, I can't tell you, all there's the London Bridge probably. Um, a lot of cool things. So, and don't forget the Leaning Tower of Pisa is on there too. There it is, Leaning Tower of Pisa. I've been there. It leans. <laughs> it, it does. It wasn't quite as impressive as I thought it was going to be, but it leans and it's there. So, if you're in Italy, go see Leaning Tower of Pisa. Don't spend too much time there, though. See the Colosseum. Yeah, yeah. Col we we cool do we do all, everything from uh, domestic to international travel. Um, our favorite international travel group is uh, called, um, which a lot of people are not aware of, that Disney has a international travel group, which is called Adventures by Disney. Uh, you go to the um, uh, Vatican uh, with a, on the Disney by travel and you're in the Vatican within five minutes. Normally that trip, that particular venue takes four to six hours to get into the Vatican. Wow, the power of Mickey. I thought it was the power of the Pope, but it's the power of Mickey. Well, we call it the power of paddle. <laughs> is actually what it is called. Nice. Um, so you do a lot of family travel which is really nice. Um, I mean, I love it that you can, that, that families out here in the Antelope Valley have, a, have someone they can call that can guide them through the process of finding out what type of, of travel they want to do, what they want to see, where they want to go, and you handle the details. So talk a little bit about that. What do you do? So when somebody calls us, we, we ask them, we interview them, of course, in a, such a way that we get to know what they like to do, what they would like to do, and we build a trip uh, on that aspect. Um, the, uh, process, the whole process takes about two to three weeks um, because finding air, everything, you know, airfare and booking all these different venues, it's, it, it's a process. Leave it even on timing. I mean, you got to think about if you want to do an Alaska cruise, um, I don't think January is the right time to go. Plus, there's no. no ships up there. They all went down to Mexico for the for the winter time. But, but so I mean that's part of it too. Is is educating the people out there that if they want to do a certain type of cruise, there's there's definitely seasons to do it. Right. Correct. Correct. Very correct. Um, in fact, right now we're doing a fundraising cruise for Special Olympics so Southern California, and it's in March. Um, we're taking down payments now, you know, 150 down, you know, and then you can do your monthly payments. And breaks it down to right now is seven seventy eight dollars a month. Nice, not bad. You can do payments, which is awfully nice. Put a down payment down and then do monthly payments, so it can be affordable, it can be doable. Of course, um, of course, that's also based on double occupancy because it is a cruise ship. Right, right. So go thinking about cruises. So people are. Well, hopefully they've done a little vacationing and had a little time off in the summertime. But the next big break is going to be Christmas break. So where's a good spot to go for Christmas break? Uh, the Bahamas is, is going to be the uh, big one. Um, the water's still warm there. The water's still warm. Um, the and air temperature's still warm. Yes. And, and, you, and, and during Christmas break, we can do a short cruise to, to Europe. The, some of the river cruises, and we have uh, the Mark Twain cruise during, uh, I think, Christmas. It's only two cruises a, a year, so. 
Down the Mississippi? Down the Mississippi, and nice. that one you actually do not need a passport for, believe it or not. <laughs> now, Mississippi is still part of the U.S. as far as I heard last, so I think we're good there. You know, mo most people think uh, the, uh, uh, m the Carnival Cruise to Mexico, you don't need a passport. And by 2020, you have to have a passport. And soon, you'll all be getting new driver's licenses too, right? Um, Federal ID driver's licenses? The... It's funny you ask me that. The uh, federal, ID, the the real ID driver's license is really for people that have a felony that cannot get a passport. Uh, the uh, the passport overrides the real ID and gives you a federal ID. So the real ID gives is really for people that are felons can't get it, or for one reason or another can't get a passport, can't afford it. Um, but, uh, but as far as the airlines, to board an airline in the future, you have to either have the, the real ID or a passport, right? So, I mean, yeah, I, don't have a, I don't have a felony on my, my record, but I have to have the real ID or I have to carry a passport with me. Right, which, you which know. I don't want to do. Um, that, like I said, that's your choice. Um, but, you know, I'm here to inform, you know, you know, most people are thinking about a cruise, you know. You know, and, and we do a lot of fundraisers. We like doing fundraisers. That's cool. one of our favorite things. So you have a fundraiser coming up, I see. And this is, so, hey, you know, a good spot to go to during the during Christmas break is um, just south of us going into um, Mexico. That's you leave out of Long Beach. Um, there's, there's a number of them that go for three days or they go for a week down there. There's a great, and, and once you hit... Halfway down to Mexico, it's right warming up pretty quick too. Yeah. Um, so why don't you talk about you're doing a, a fundraiser for Special Olympics in Southern California, and you're doing a four-day cruise. So what's what's that all about? So we're doing a four-day cruise, leaving out of Long Beach, stopping in Catal uh, uh, at Catalina Island and Ensenada. Uh, it's for Special Olympics. There, and this this one is interesting because. You get to write part of it off on your taxes. What you get to have fun and write it, something off on your taxes. Nice. You know, so what? How many times can you say in your life that you could take a cruise and write it off on your taxes, well, or at I least part of it? Business and I write the whole thing. Up. No, I don't do that actually. I'm just joking. Because when I go on a cruise, it's all vacation time. Hey, you would not believe. You know, try, uh, speaking of business and cru cruises, we get to go. There's. We get to go um, uh, for next to nothing. You would not believe the breaks that we get. As travel agents? As travel agents. As chamber agents. members. As How about chamber members? What do we get? Uh, we get really good service, don't we? Yes. <laughs> we love the service. <laughs> that is awesome. So you do cruises. Um, you also do, you do a lot of uh, finding great airfares and great hotel prices, I would imagine. Um, Disney parks, whether it be here or Florida or um, overseas, right? You do that yeah, overseas. Yeah, we, we do we do that overseas. It's a little more entailed. For if we're doing the, the Disney stuff overseas, uh, Disneyland, uh, Euro Disney or Tokyo Disney, um, the turnaround time is about a month of planning, and they're pre-planning, but a month out, at least a month out. It, ta it takes us a month to, to plan it, and that doesn't include the airfare. So for people that uh, have uh, that, that are more spontaneous, are there better breaks with some of the cruises? Can you book cruises last minute? So, I mean, airfare, you can the closer you get to the, the, the date you fly, the higher the rate goes up. So you start off with $59 rates, and if you wait till two days before, it's $500 rates. How about cruises? Same, does it work the same way, or is it uh, there's some flexibility there? Uh, there's some flexibility. Um, obviously, summer cruises, you're not going to get a break. The, the price is going to go up like, just like the airlines. Um, November, the same thing. December, same thing. And Mar end of March, beginning of June, uh, April is the same thing. The rest of the, time, the, rest of the year, it, it's supply and demand. Right. And it depends where you are, too. So, I mean, I mean if you're going south it's going to be different than when you go north is what the weather is and everything else is going to is going to impact it but it's all based on on demand um but but you're able to go out there and find some good deals for people and yeah. and uh 
and, oh. and we we even do the wedding stuff. You know, oh. we we uh, help help brides to be uh, book a non land based wedding. It's not you know, just a honeymoon. Do, you do the whole wedding package. We do the whole wedding package. Get married at sea. Yes. Who How would who would like that? I I do it. I get married on the glacier. The glacier's not on not on the sea. Yeah, it's close enough. <laughs> He's like, he's like, yeah, that's like that's really the in, inland, the inland passage. That's like glass, anyways. That is inland passage is, is absolutely gorgeous. So, um, hey, we're here with um, Chris Jones with Jonesy Travel. He specializes in family vacations and just vacations. Period. If you're looking to go out there and um, uh, have some fun and and, uh, and need some help picking out where you want to go on your next vacation, there's a lot of cool places to visit in this world. And sometimes you just need someone that has an idea or has different options for you. Chris is the man to call. Um, you can reach Chris. Chris, how can we reach you? What's the best way to get a hold of you? The best way is my cell phone, and that is 661-495-6170 or jonesy1 at gmail.com. But the phone is the best way to get a hold of me. And that's um, 9 to 9, Monday through Friday. Um, well, school's out, and uh, four to nine uh, when school's in, because we do uh, work for the school district when, oh, cool. as a crossing guard, so we kind of have nice. a little hands tied, you know. Cool. You can also find them on the Lancaster Chambers website, that be lancasterchamber.org. Go to directory and go to travel agent, and uh, Chris will meet with you. He'll find out what you're looking for and get you all set up. Chris, thanks for coming on the show. We enjoyed it, and... Uh, We'll talk to you soon. Thank okay, you. Thank you.